There you go. There are your starters for tonight's contest. Zarcy Hughes, Baylor, Schneider, and Ross for Tri-County for your Panthers. The four seniors, Blackman, McKaig, Toloza, and Erickson, along with Lucas Perry as we get set for the tip here at the cage. And it is Tri-County's ball to start things off. We are underway. Zarcy up top, Toloza, they're in the uh, Panthers are in their 2-3 zone here as we start our first possession of the game. Drive to the basket and a nice kick in a bucket is good for Baylor. Hughes with the assist and the Cavaliers get on the board first. Looks like Tri-County is going to start off in a man defense here. Drew McKaig waits for everybody to get reset here at the top. And the Panthers are going to be patient here as the clock winds down around seven minutes to go. Trying to slow this Tri-County team down a little bit here. Keg drives in. Good defense there by Zarcy. Gets it out. Toloza resets the offense, gets it over to McKaig on the right wing. Blackman kicks it over to Erickson. Erickson drives, and we're going to have a loose ball as Ross comes up with the steal, and we're going to have a foul coming on Erickson. So Erickson loses the ball, and he's going to get called for the foul. Team's first here of the game. So to give Tri-County the back the ball here with a 2-0 lead. Six twenty-nine to go here in half number one, quarter number one. Schneider and it's gonna be a steal as Perry comes up with the steal. Kicks it up ahead to Loza, but he's going to be on the end line, so gives it back over to the Cavaliers. Turnover number two for the Panthers. So a little bit of a slow start here for Pioneer. Two possessions, two turnovers for the Panthers. Give it back over here, and Hughes brings it across the timeline for the Cavaliers. Gets it in to Baylor. Baylor takes a dribble. Ten-foot jumper, no good, and Erickson gets the rebound for Pioneer. 
Braden brings it across the timeline, kicks it over to Ryland Toloza. Toloza is going to have his pocket pick. Good defense there by Zarsi. Kicks it up ahead to Baylor for two more. Baylor has four, and the Cavaliers lead 4 0 here in period number one. 5.30 to go in the period. Panthers yet to get a shot off with three turnovers. That shot is a little bit long there by Blackman. Rebound to the Cavaliers. Tri-County brings it across the timeline. Hughes kicks it up to Zarsi. Double team down in the corner. Last touched by, I guess, the Pioneer. So the Cavaliers will inbounds here on the sideline. I want to thank Blake and Finn. We got a good crew here from Pioneer tonight. And that shot's going to fall just a little bit short for Schneider. Got Blake down on the floor on our uh, floor camera there. Gets, got some good shots of our introductions. Got uh, Finn up in the uh, crow's nest here doing the side shot. Want to uh, wish Ella a speedy recovery. I know she's been feeling ill this week, so hopefully she can uh, get back and uh, get back in the producer's chair here for the Panthers TV program. A shot by Erickson is long, but the Panthers get another chance on the offensive rebound. Shot by Perry is off the mark, and the rebound to Hughes for the Cavaliers. 15-foot pull-up jumper is good for Schneider. And it's 6-0 in favor of the Cavaliers. Baylor has four and Schneider has two. Panthers still looking for their first points here of the contest. Okay, nice crossover move. Can't get it to go, but he's going to go to the line shooting two as we have a Cavalier foul. Cavalier foul number 10, Baylor. His first That's going to be on Baylor, his first. A couple of these names pretty familiar if you're a follower of the girls' teams. Zarsi and Baylor, uh, a pair of, uh, I would assume, brother and sisters that uh, also play for the Michael Lady Brandon Cavaliers. I know Sarah Zarsi, a very, very talented junior for the Lady Cavaliers team gave the uh, cast and comments everything that they wanted in that sectional championship before Caston was able to prevail. So McKeg hits both free throws, puts the Panthers on the board. It's a four point lead here for the Cavaliers. Hughes loses the ball. And then uh, I think he was able to uh, kind of get a hand on it, but his foot was out of bounds, so it will be a turnover, and the Panthers will take the ball. Coming in for Pioneer is Micah Rands, number five there. He has the ball bringing it across. Shiloh Ryan, number 35, also checking into the game for Pioneer in that last break. And Ryan going to pick up the foul. Pioneer foul, 35. His Shiloh first, Ryan. team second here of the quarter. Tri County will inbounds here on the near side. So the starting five on the floor for the Cavaliers. And that bucket is good for Baylor. He's got six, and it's a six-point lead for the Cavaliers. Eight to two with 2.45 to go here in period number one. So we got a sub getting ready to check in here for the Cavaliers. First one of the game is going to be number 22. Noah Miller enters for the Panthers. Noah Dahlenberg is 
checking in. And also checking in for Pioneer it was a, uh, a Noah. Two Noahs checking in there. Noah Miller checking in for Pioneer in that last timeout. It's going to be a steal. Turnover number four. Not able to put the initial shot in was Hughes, but an offensive rebound. A couple of opportunities there, and we're going to have a foul. And they're going to say it was on the floor for the, the Panthers. And that's going to be on McKeg, his first team's third of the quarter. That ball into Zarsi. He kicks it over to the left wing. The Hughes shot off the mark. Quickly up ahead from Erickson, showing off his baseball skills. And McKeg got uh, tangled up a little bit there with a uh, Cavalier. That was uh, Connor Ross getting tangled up with McKeg. And McKeg gets called for the travel. Ross is going to take a break as he might be bleeding there in the lip. And they're going to bring back in number 10, Kobe Baylor for Tri-County. Eight to two, two minutes left here in quarter number one. Tri-County with the lead. Pass over the top, and that's going to be tipped out. Last touched by the Panthers, but good defense there. Lucas Perry and Toloza going to check back in for Ryan and Erickson. As the Cavaliers inbound here on the in line. The shot there, McKeg, good pass up ahead to Toloza, can't put it in. Perry gets the put back for the Panthers. That's that lead back to four here for Tri-County. Good outlet there by McKeg. Say last touch there by Pioneer. Just able to get it off of one of the Panthers' foot. Feet. A foot of the Panthers. Inbounds pass there to Baylor working inside and puts it in for two. Baylor has eight and the lead back up to six for the Tri-County Cavaliers. And there's a steal as Zarcy just takes it away from McKaig. Turnover number six here of the quarter. Three-pointer is long for Baylor. Rebound is corralled. Schneider able to come away with it, gets it over to Baylor. Cavaliers reset. Floater in the lane, no good that time for Hughes. Rebound is to Perry. Perry brings it across, gets it out. McKeg, top of the key, three, good for McKeg. McKeg has five, and that cuts that lead to three here with 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Inside, little up and under move. Not able to put that in is Baylor, but he's going to go to the free throw line. That was a nice move there by Baylor. That foul is going to be called on Noah Miller, his first, team's fourth. So the Panthers will be in the bonus if they get another foul here in the next 12 seconds. At the free throw line is Kobe Baylor. He makes the first. He now has nine for the Cavaliers. Puts that lead back up to four. 12.4 seconds to go here in the period. Good on both is Baylor. Ten points for Baylor, 12 points for the team. Rands kicks it back out to Toloza. His shot off the mark. Rands able to corral it but not in time as that's going to end the first quarter. 
here at Pioneer High School. After one, it is the Cavaliers 12, the Panthers 7. We'll take a break. Come back with second quarter action here from the cage in just a moment. You're watching RTC TV4. Start quarter number two. Six turnovers, the big story of the first quarter for Pioneer. Drew McKaig led the team with five. Lucas Perry had two for the Cavaliers. It was Kobe Baylor in double figures in the quarter with 10 of the 12, and Grayson Schneider had the other two for Tri-County. So it's Perry, Ryan, Erickson, Toloza, and Blackman starting off the second quarter here for the Panthers. And Perry hits a big one there to start it off with the three. And the lead is down to two now for Tri-County. Lucas Perry with five points. And now it's going to be out of bounds off of the Cavaliers. So turnover number four for Tri-County. Gives the ball back over to Pioneer. Chance to take the lead or possibly or take a tie or possibly even take the lead with another three as they trail 12 to 10 here as we approach seven minutes to go in the first half. Toloza gets around, kicks it over, trying to find Ryan does get, uh, handle the ball, kicks it out to Erickson. His shot in and out, and we're gonna have a jump ball. I don't think Toloza had much choice as uh, his arm was tied up by Ross. Jump ball will go to Tri-County there. So the arrow goes back over to the Panthers on the next jump. Hughes just decides to take that three, about three feet behind the uh, line there at the top of the key, no good. Panthers push it quickly ahead. Erickson back over to Shiloh Ryan. Ryan sets up the offense, gets it over to Loza, into, over to Perry. Perry going to dribble it back up to the top of the key. A little crossover move, gets into the paint. Kicks it out. Toloza's pass is picked off there by Hughes. And we're going to have a foul as Hughes gets fouled on the shot. Player foul number two, Luke Blackman, his first foul. That's going to be on Luke Blackman, his first of the game and the first of the quarter for Pioneer. That will put Hughes to the free throw line, shooting two. That'll be his first trip to the line, and he puts the first one in. Ross, Atkinson, and Drew Foster enter for the Cavaliers. Rants in the big return for the Panthers. So we got uh, Clayton Atkinson, number 14, checking in for the first time. As both free throws were good that time for Hughes, he has two points. Lead back up to four now for the Cavaliers. Rands. Checked into the game as well in that uh, break. McCaig gets that one back. And McCaig all the way to the paint. Drew McCaig with the bucket. Drew has seven and it's back to a two point lead for the Cavaliers. Ryan trying to get in front of that one, not able to as Ross is catching the ball. Got a jump ball, and it will go over to the Panthers on the turnover. So they're going to bring Eric Zarsi back into the game here. So another opportunity here for the Panthers to tie or take the lead with 5.15 to go in the first half, trailing by two. Okay, 
Craig kicks it back out. Erickson gets into the paint, kicks it over to Ryan, who kicks it to Rands. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Ryan, and he's gonna foul over the back as he was trying to get the rebound. So Ryan's gonna pick up his second. Noah Miller will check back in here for Ryan. Second team foul on the Panthers in the quarter as well. 4.33 to go here in this first half. Again, halftime, we will have the senior night here for the Panthers, the four seniors. Blackman, McKeg, Toloza, and Erickson will be honored, and I'm sure they will honor the senior cheerleaders and possibly, I don't know if they're doing band as well, but they generally do most of those as the winter sports season winding down here for boys basketball. And that one is uh, tipped right into the hands of Zarcy, and he's able to get around and put that one in for two. Gives the Cavaliers back a four-point advantage. Miller, three-pointer short. Erickson tips it over. Miller able to track down the offensive rebound. And the Panthers get another opportunity here at the basket. Rands. Cavaliers just trying to keep the ball in front. There, Zarcy is playing man on McKeg. McKeg gets into the paint, kicks it out. Miller, three-pointer is short for Noah Miller. And the rebound to Zarcy for the Cavaliers. Number 21 is Drew Foster for Tri-County. Missed him timeout. checking in. So the Cavaliers are going to call a timeout. It is a full timeout. We'll take a break and be back here. 2.57 left to go in half number one. It will be the Cavaliers' ball out of the timeout. Called by the Cavaliers. Coach Harrington calls his first timeout of the game. Talk things over here. Looking to push this lead up to six or maybe seven again. Zarcy and a travel called and a turnover. Turnover number four on the Cavaliers here in this quarter. And Hughes will check back in for Drew Foster. So Rands will bring it across the timeline. He's picked up right there by Hughes. Hughes goes down. McKay gets it back over. And Perry kind of lost his foot there for a minute, but able to recover and puts it in for two. Seven now for Perry, and it's back to a two-point advantage for the Cavaliers. And trying to find Atkinson inside, but that pass too tall. And the ball will go back over. Turnover number five for Tri-County. So... They're getting the turnover bug here a little bit in quarter number two. Six first quarter turnover point or turnovers for Pioneer. Only two here in the second. Now uh, Tri-County up to five here in quarter number two. Panthers have it with a two-point deficit looking to tie or maybe even take the lead. Panthers have never led here in this one minute and uh, 40 or so to go here in half number one. Brands drives the baseline, kicks it over to Miller, quickly up to Toloza. Toloza gets into the paint, kicks it back out. Miller, three-pointer off the side of the rim, no good. Toloza, offensive rebound, kicks it over to Perry. Perry muscles his way in, left-hander, no good. Rebound to Schneider for the Cavaliers. So a couple opportunities there on that one for Pioneer, not able to capitalize. And it's the Cavaliers looking to add to a two-point lead. That shot is off the side of the glass there by Ross. McKeg stops, pops, 
Shot does not go for the senior, but he's going to go to the free throw line as he was fouled that time by Ross. That's going to be the first on Ross, and that will put McKaig at the free throw line shooting two. And that one in and out for the senior. Erickson returns for the Panthers. So one more coming up here for Drew. Oh, misses them both. A rare trip to the free throw line with no points for McKaig. And in the lead stays at two for the Cavaliers as we approach 45 seconds to go. And a good pass in, and Baylor puts it in for two. Baylor has been held scoreless here in the second period until there after scoring 10 first quarter points. And the three is good for Braden Erickson. Braden's first points of the game, and it's a one point advantage. See if the Panthers can get a stop here. Rands almost gets into the passing lane, but a little bit late, and he's going to get called for the personal. That'll be his first, team's third, so it'll be out of bounds for the Cavaliers. Zarcy will take it on the far side. 17 and a half seconds to go here in the first half. Again, stick around. We will have senior night festivities. Oh, Erickson almost saves it, but it rolls off of the leg of Lucas Perry. That's a tricky spot to uh, try and save it, and Erickson was trying to play it safe, and uh, Perry not able to handle that one. Don't want to give it to the Cavaliers at that point under their own basket. Rands able to knock that one away. Rands gets the steal. Rands, oh, he can't put it in. He had a close-up shot. And at the buzzer, it's going to be no good at the half. Pioneer trails by one, 18 to 17 here at the Caves. Camera, we got Blake down on the floor. We got Finn up here on the sideline uh, with our main camera shot for the evening. Cavaliers have it. Toloza knocks it away briefly from Schneider. Keg can't get the steal. Ross able to crowd, and then the Panthers do get the steal. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Blackman, so a pair of turnovers there to start it off. A good pass there by McKeg, but Blackman not able to corral it. And it will go back over here to the Cavaliers. Zarcy kicks it over to Schneider. Inside, and that's a really deep position there by Baylor, but he's not able to put in the uh, two-footer. And the Panthers get the rebound. Three-pointer on the way is good. Lucas Perry gives the Panthers their first lead of the game. 20 to 18 as we approach seven minutes to go here in the third period. So they had some opportunities there in the second quarter, couldn't get it done, and they do take the lead on the first shot here of the third period. Panthers lead by two. Baylor, and he's going to get called for a walk. And Perry's down. And he... Uh, Took a shot there on that one, but the turnover for the Cavaliers, their second of the quarter. And now it's the Panthers looking to add to a two-point lead. Erickson walks it across the timeline, gets it over McKeg. Perry down to Blackman, wide open. Luke Blackman puts it in for two, the assist to Perry. And it's a four-point advantage here. Five quick points for the Cavalier or the uh, Panthers as they have made. Oh, that was a double dribble. They didn't see it. And a foul coming here on Toloza. His first foul. That is Toloza's first team's first here of the quarter. I think the uh, Cavaliers got away with a double dribble there, looked like from this angle, but uh, 
So they're going to inbounds it here under the basket. They get it over to Zarsi. They're trying to put it inside to Baylor. And they're going to get the foul on Perry. That is going to be his first, team's second. So obviously Baylor is the big scorer here tonight for the Cavaliers. Drive to the bucket, shot is off the mark for Hughes. Quickly ahead is McKaig. McKaig wheels around, his shot is no good, but he's gonna be fouled by Ross. That will be the second on Connor Ross. And that will send Drew McKaig to the free throw line to shoot two. Two for four for the senior from the free throw line here this evening. Puts the first one in. Trey Foster is the lineup for the Cavaliers. Michael Rams returns for the Panthers. Drew Foster back into the game here for the Cavaliers. Second one is good as well for Drew McKay. It's a six point lead now for the Panthers. 7-0 run here to start this second half. Almost a steal, but Zarsi able to corral that one, and he puts the bucket in for the first points of the quarter for the Cavaliers. Erickson all the way to the rack. He can't get it to go, but Toloza gets the rebound. Long three is no good. Offensive rebound, no. It goes to Baylor for the Cavaliers. Zarsi, and he's going to be fouled. And they're going to say on the floor. That's going to be Toloza's second, team's third. So we've got Ryan and Miller coming in for the Panthers. Loza and Perry going to take a break. Zarsi will trigger here under his own basket. Kicks it out to Ross. Turnaround jumper, no good, and the rebound, Erickson. Ryan kicks it back out. McKeg thought about a long three, going to put it on the deck. Gets it around, hits it. Ryan, Ryan holds it as uh, Zarsi was going to block it, but not able to put it in. Good play there by Ryan, and that's going to be off of the fingertips of Baylor. Turnover number three for the Cavaliers here in the third period. 24-20, 48 to go here in the third period. Panthers with the lead. Pioneer on a 7-2 run here in this period. Trailed by one at the half. McKay gets it to go. Drew McKeg puts in two more, and he's got 11. Let's take a look here at that bucket by McKeg. Great body control there by McKeg as he's able to go around. Connor Ross put that one in for the bucket. Erickson, three off the front iron. Rands tracks down the rebound. Another opportunity here for a Pioneer. Miller, long three off the front iron. No good. And a quick foul on McKaig. It's going to be Drew's second. His second foul. Team's fourth, so could be some free throws here early in this quarter for Tri-County as they will be in the bonus after the next Pioneer foul. Still a little uh, under four minutes to go here in the period. And that is going to put the Panthers or the uh, Cavaliers at the line. Baylor going to get a chance to shoot two. As that uh, foul is called on Miller, his second, team's fifth. So the Cavaliers now in the bonus with 3.53 to go here in the period. Kobe Baylor two for two from the free throw line here this evening. Make that three for three as he puts the first one in. Cuts that lead to five. Got Ryland Toloza checking back in here for Pioneer. He's going to give Shiloh Ryan a breather. Oh, 
Baylor's second one is good. He has 14, and it's a four-point lead here for Pioneer. Rands gets all the way to the rack. Can't get it to go. Zarcy puts it in for two. So now all of a sudden the lead is down to only two, and we got a timeout called here by the Panthers. We will take a quick break with them and be right back. And just a moment, it will be the Panthers with the ball here coming out of the timeout. Rands brings it across the timeline. Three-pointer Erickson off the front iron and no good. Rebound tracked down by Baylor. So now Tri-County with an opportunity to tie or even take the lead on a three-pointer. Tri-County has not hit a three-pointer here this evening. I don't think they've taken a whole lot of three-pointers. And pretty dependent on Kobe Baylor for most of their points. He has 14 of their 24. And we got another foul coming here on Pioneer. So more free throws coming for the Cavaliers as Baylor will go back to the free throw line. Toloza didn't have any fouls. Didn't have any fouls at the half. Now that is his third. And the first one is good. For the Panthers, Steiner returns for the Cavaliers. The scoreboard says five fouls on Tri County, and I don't think that's right because I don't even have five fouls on total for the Cavaliers for the game. Now it says zero, I have one. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, now they got it fixed, it's back to one. So, clerical error there by the scorekeeper. And the second free throw is good as well for Baylor, and that ties us now at 26. 6 0 run here for the Cavaliers after Pioneer had built that lead up to six. And the cake gets the ball taken away. Turns it over, gets it, Snyder has it, brings it across. Snyder thought about a three, then almost traveled. Kicks it back over to Baylor. Down in the corner to Hughes. Back over to Baylor. Baylor up and under move, and he puts it in over Perry. And the Cavaliers back out in front. 2-4-6 now here for Baylor in the quarter. 18 for Kobe for the game. And the Panthers find themselves back down by two after they had taken a six-point lead here in the third quarter. Pioneer wanting to uh, run some clock here. Doubt they're going to go for the last shot. Still over a minute to go, but... Keg working on Baylor, kicks it back over to Blackman. They're going to get it out. Erickson will bring it back up top and reset the offense. Erickson drops it off to Ryan, back up top, McKeg. 28, 26, 40 seconds to go here in the third. McKeg. 
And McKaig's going to be fouled. And that is only team foul number two. So it will be on the floor. It'll be out of bounds. Rand's going to come in for Erickson. Checking in is Atkinson and I believe Zarcy's checking back in. Inbounds play for McKaig. Can't get it to go. Rebound to the Cavaliers. Get it into Zarcy. Zarcy kicks it out. So we're going to say last touch by the Panthers. Seven and a half seconds to go. Let's see if the Pioneer defense can. Keep the Cavaliers off the board here. Three-pointer is no good, but it's going to be a foul that will send Hughes to the line, shooting three. The foul on Blackman is going to be his second. This quarter has kind of been a tale of two halves. Uh, the first part of this quarter, first half of this quarter, it was all Pioneer, and boy, the second half of this quarter, the Cavaliers have come back in a big way. And adding to that lead as Hughes makes his first. Two more still coming here for the junior, Riley Hughes. Second is good. Ross returns for the Cavaliers. So Ross going to check back in here with Baylor with four seconds to go. They don't want Baylor to pick up his fourth. One more free throw coming here for Hughes. Can't get that one to go. The tip back, though, is good. Zarcy puts it in for two. And just like that, the six-point lead for Pioneer turns into a six point advantage at the end of three for the Cavaliers. And actually only trailed by one at the half, but then actually started off on a 7 0 run to start the third period and had a six point lead before Tri County got going and outscored them 12 0 and regained a lead and made it a six point advantage here after three. It wasn't really turnovers, only had two turnovers uh, unofficially by my stats. As the, as I say that, there's a turnover and gives the ball back over to Pioneer. But the Cavaliers give it right back. Rands finally gets it, and I think Erickson will be uh, taking it up here and getting reset. And Erickson is going to get fouled, so that will be a on the floor. Schneider's going to pick up his first. I think the foul situation in that quarter was what really hurt Pioneers. The Cavaliers shot seven free throws, making six of them. Six points in the quarter for Baylor. He has 18 for the game. Fifteen-foot jumper from the baseline, rims around, no good. But Zarcy, another offensive rebound for Eric Zarcy, and he puts two more in. And he's going to go to the free throw line as Erickson gets called on the foul. His second. So and one opportunity here for the senior, Eric Zarcy. Miller and McKeg back in. Zarcy's free throw is good. 
That gives the Cavaliers a nine point lead, 35-26. Six and a half to go here in the ball game. Okay, kicks it over to Toloza, gets around his guy. Can't get it to go, but Toloza is gonna earn a trip to the free throw line to shoot two. Cavalier foul number 12, Snyder, his second foul. So that's going to be number two on Snyder. He only had, he didn't have any fouls coming into this quarter. And Ryland Toloza puts in the first. One more coming here for the senior Toloza. Can't get it to go and the offensive or the rebound to Baylor for Tri-County. The lead is eight, and a three-pointer is good for Hughes. He got fouled on his last three-point attempt, made two of the free throws, puts that one in, and uh, Coach McCaig is going to call a full timeout here as the Cavaliers have opened up an 11-point advantage. We'll be right back. Has come up big here at the end of the third quarter. He got fouled shooting a three, made two free throws there and just drills a three-pointer to make it an 11-point advantage here for Tri-County. So Pioneer has the ball coming out of their timeout, and they need to get some points here in a hurry, and that's not going to help them there as the ball gets turned over. And Zarsi, and he's going to get run over by Miller, I believe, will get called for that one. A lot of contact on the front and the back. And Miller will pick up his third. Second team foul on the Panthers, so that one's going to be on the floor. So Hughes will take it out of bounds. Gets it up to Baylor, back over to Hughes. Tipped out of bounds by the Panthers, so Pioneer or uh, Tri-County will have the ball. Take it here on the near side. Zarcy picks it up, kicks it back out to Baylor over Back to Zarcy. Ten footer, Zarcy is good. Zarcy wasn't real active on the scoreboard, only had two at the half, now has 11. And Erickson, much needed three. Braden has six. Still a 10 point lead though for Tri County. Timeout, Tri-County, 30-second And the Cavaliers are going to call a timeout. This one's going to be a 30. We'll take it with them and be right back. Webb's Family Pharmacy, we strive to provide our community with a better alternative. We respect the many choices our patients have when it comes to health care needs. When they choose us, we go above and beyond to offer them personalized service and care that will consistently remind them of why we are a superior choice to other pharmacies. Pharmacy care should be proactive when possible should be customized to patient needs, should strive for better health outcomes, should help manage costs. At Webb's Family Pharmacy, our mission is to provide the pharmacy care you deserve. 4.57 to go off of a Braden Erickson three-pointer, cuts that lead back to 10. And the Cavaliers call a timeout. So Hughes will trigger it here on the near side. Good pressure there by Rands, forces Zarcy all the way to the end line. But Zarcy able to uh, control it, and almost throws it away, but Hughes grip gets it, and a foul coming. Noah Miller says, what, me? So I'm guessing, no, they're actually going to get McKay. So third team foul on the Panthers, third personal foul on Drew McKay. Hughes will trigger here under his basket. Gets it up to Baylor. Baylor gets double teamed. The pass down in. And we got another timeout called by Tri-County. It's another 30. So we'll take a quick one here and be right back. Hughes gets it up to Zarcy. 
Baylor almost loses it, able to tap it over to Schneider. The 10-footer no good for Zarsi, but Schneider gets the offensive rebound, and a jump ball is called jump on ball. that. Tri-County Tri -County will keep it on the jump. Perry returns for the Panthers. Perry back in for Pioneer. Miller will take a break. Approaching the halfway point here of the quarter. Toloza can't get that one. Baylor slides through, not able to put it in. Perry gets the rebound. Perry quickly ahead. Pass into Rands. Oh, they're going to call a travel on Perry. Ooh, I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that one again here when we get an opportunity. Look, maybe, but I have to look at it in slow-mo there. We'll take another look at that here in a minute. Doesn't matter because the uh, turnover goes back over to the Cavaliers. Baylor gets in. The 10-footer is good for Kobe Baylor. He has 20, and the lead is 12. Erickson, top of the key, three-pointer short. Zarsi gets the rebound. And a foul coming on Toloza. That is going to be number four on Toloza, number four on the team as well. So the next Pioneer foul will result in some free throws. That one's going to be tipped by Pioneer, but out of bounds. Sarsi just gets it in there. 10-footer is no good that time for Schneider, but Baylor gets the rebound. And the putback is good. The drive by Hughes for two. Lead is now up to 14. The Cavaliers just extend it. Largest lead of the game. McKaig, three-pointer off the back iron and no good. And Baylor gets the rebound for the Cavaliers. Zarsi with a nice pass inside. And Ross puts in the bucket, his first points of the game, and it's a 16-point lead. And Coach McKaig is going to take a timeout. And it'll be a full timeout, so we'll take one with him and be right back here. Pioneer had uh, taken a six-point lead after starting the second half with a 7-0 run, trailing by one at the half. But it's been all Cavaliers after they got down by six. They were able to outscore Pioneer 12-0. And they haven't really looked back. It's been pretty much Pioneer. Uh, trailing the way. Cavalier foul number two, Zarsi, his second foul. So that's going to be a foul on Zarsi. And Rands will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Rands is scoreless here on the afternoon. Misses on the first. And Toloza going to check back in for Miller. So, weird twist of fate here. Micah Rands' great uncle, Larry, was my high school basketball coach at Culver. So it's kind of a weird tie in to, uh, to Pioneer for me, but. Uh, Pioneer foul number two, Luke Blackman, his third foul. That's going to be a foul on Pioneer. That will put Hughes at the line as Blackman picks up his third. 
Hughes is four of five from the free throw line. Make that five of six. He has 10. Drew Foster has the line up. We're trying down. Foster checks in for the Cavaliers, and one more free throw coming here for Hughes. And he converts on both. 11 now for Hughes. 17 point lead for the Cavaliers, the largest of the game. Oh, nice look in, but a block that time by Baylor on Perry. And back the other way for a bucket. Good assist, and Ross puts it in for two more. And the lead is 19. Tri-County foul number two, Zarsi, his third foul. McKay will shoot a pair. So Zarsi picks up his third. That will put McKay at the free throw line, shooting two. Good on the first. Twelve now for Drew. Can't get the second, but the rebound to Loza gives the Panthers another opportunity. The shot is short. Baylor gets the rebound, and we got some substitutions coming in here for Tri County. Is they're going to, uh, I think, go full line change here. Get their varsity out and get some younger kids some uh, playing time here. It's going to be number four on McKaig. And I'll put Ross at the free throw line shooting two, and he's off on the first. So 11 32 14. Pratt, Vores. And Atkinson, I believe, checking in for Tri-County. Second one is no good, and the rebound to McKaig. So McKaig can't get it to go from six feet, and the rebound to the Cavaliers. Team's kind of content here, just run some clock. Three pointer, no good. McKay gets the rebound. Erickson, three pointer, no good. And foul on Ryan. So I'll put Foster at the free throw line. Be his first attempts for the Cavaliers. He gets on the scoreboard with the first one. Checking in is number 20 for the Panthers. It is Lane Weldy. We've got number 15, Mason Shaver. And we're going to check out some seniors here as Deloza, Erickson, McKaig, and Blackman all take a seat.
Foster connects on both. One of two, sorry. 52-32. Your Pioneer Panthers will be in action tomorrow night right here at the cage. And that's going to do it here. The final Tri-County wins 52-32. We'll take a quick break here and uh, total it up.